Bleeding in pregnancy is actually pretty common. Hi, I'm Monique Schoenhaga. I'm a maternal fetal medicine specialist, which means I specialize in high-risk obstetrics. I'm here today to talk about bleeding in pregnancy. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what it means in the beginning of pregnancy and a little bit closer towards the end or even the middle of pregnancy. Starting at the beginning of pregnancy, spotting and bleeding is actually really common. Most pregnant women will experience some spotting and bleeding. In fact, in the first week of a pregnancy, spotting could indicate the good news of implantation. It's often present about the sixth day of the course of the pregnancy. Going forward into the first trimester, bleeding and spotting is also common. It doesn't automatically mean you're going to lose your pregnancy. It simply means that maybe you should take it a little easier that day, and certainly you should proceed with pelvic rest until you for certain you've had no further bleeding or spotting. Pelvic rest is nothing in your vagina. So that means no intercourse, no toys, no, um, pads, fingers, anything. Please talk to your physician, either your obstetrician or midwife about this event. They may want to confirm the pregnancy and its health and well-being with an ultrasound. As we proceed into the pregnancy, it may have more significant implications. In the third trimester and even into the second trimester, frank bleeding, so bleeding like we may have a period where we soak a pad, that's an indication to come to the hospital immediately. You don't need to take a shower. You don't need to call your best friend. That means you just need to come on in. You don't even need to necessarily notify your physician. Here at TMC, we have hospitals 24 seven available to meet all of your needs. It's one of the nice benefits of delivering here with our doctors. You just need to come on to our triage and someone will be there to greet you and to help you. As we proceed later into the pregnancy, bleeding or spotting may simply indicate that your cervix is changing and that you may be in labor. One of the things that we talk about is that famous mucus plug loss. That is accompanied by brownish mucoid discharge. It is not bright red, it is definitely dark brown and may also be accompanied by contractions. If that occurs, particularly after 34 weeks, but preferably after 37 weeks, that's not necessarily an indication to come in. That may be an indication to tell your best friend that maybe delivery may be coming and that she should think about coming into town, but it doesn't mean you need to rush to the hospital. If, however, you have bright red bleeding that's mimicking a period, that still remains an indication to come immediately to the hospital. If you come in um, and receive an exam, either in your doctor's office or perhaps even in you come in to triage, you may have some spotting. That also is normal. That's not an indication to run back to the hospital. You should be just fine. I tell people, make sure that your baby continues to move well and that you continue to feel well. Most pregnancies are normal. If, however, you have a high risk issue, like for example, a uh, placenta previa, that's where the placenta is blocking the um, cervix or the opening to your womb, that may mean a different indication to come in for bleeding and spotting. 